Hello. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the dialog package, and that's pretty much going to redo my auto talk tutorial that I did a while ago. Because I think I actually made a mistake in that tutorial <laughs> that meant it didn't work. So I'm going to basically redo that one. And this, if these videos have rendered in time, this will be the second one that I've done today. Because the last one wasn't really, you know, it was just a, it wasn't really very good. It was just a basic one. So I'm going to go first of all create my NPC. So give him a unique ID. I'm going to do my NPC and name NPC. That's and we're going to leave it like that. And next up we're going to go to packages and we're going to create a sandbox. Unique ID my sandbox travel sandbox. And let's give it a thousand. Okay. Next we're going to make the dialog package. So this is the important part. So I'm going to call it my dialog. This is the unique ID. And we're going to select dialog. Dialog, 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 there it is. So, start slash wait location near editor location. We're going to leave that as it is. Specific reference. This is the important part. So I'm going to give it a ref of a sort of a range of a thousand. And I'm going to leave it at any cell. We just leave it at the default cell. And I'm going to look for player. There it is. Because the player is detected as being in all cells, so what you select here isn't important. And the start wait location, that's because we're doing an auto talk. This that's not that's not important. So it should be okay to just leave that at, at zero because it's the activate distance that's important. So what I'm, I'm going to do is hit OK. So next up, I'm going to want to put my NPC in the world. So I'll just load up Wasteland New Vegas. Oh, that happened quickly. Uh, good Springs. And now wait for this to load. Could take a long time. Could be really quick. We'll have to see. <coughs> yeah, it took a long time, so I cut out the waiting period. And I'm going to find my NPC. There we go. Drop him down. And ooh, just remembered I'm gonna need to actually give him his packages. Any other packages, so I'm gonna right click add and add my dialogue and add my sandbox and hit OK. So now I'm gonna create some dialogue for him. So I'm gonna go to quests and right click new and I'm gonna call it my dialogue quest. Priority 55, start game, enabled. So now topics, I'm going to add a topic. Greeting. Apparently that didn't work. Greet, oh. Yep, here's my mistake. I've got to go back and do all this again. My dialogue quest. 55, start game, enabled. And I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go to my dialogue quest, and now it goes to topics, and add greeting. That was a problem. So now, in this section, we're going to do new. So this is just like my, I've done a dialogue tutorial, you could skip ahead if you know how to do this, but I'm going to say, hello, I'm an NPC. So all he's going to have is one line of dialogue. If you want to... I'll link up my proper dialogue tutorial for lengthier dialogue in uh, in the description or in an annotation. So now I'm going to go for a right click under here, get his ID, and let's go for my NPC. Okay. So now he's got one basic line of dialogue. So hit enter. Now we're going to want to write a quest script. So I'm going to hit script new. I clicked on that pencil above there to get this open. This drop down menu quest. So SCN my dialogue script. So now I'm going to write short talking. So what this does is create a variable called talking. I've used this method in the past. And I'm going to write begin. No, I'm not going to write anything on this. I'm just going to leave that short talking. I'm going to save and close. So now I'm going to open up my dialogue quest and this script section click down here and look for what we just wrote my dialogue script. 
So now we're going to click back over here, hit enter. And we are going to want to draw... No, we're not. We're going to want to go to the NPC again. My NPC. And go to AI Packages. My Dialog. We're going to click here. Go to the Conditions tab. Right click New. Now we're going to go Get Quest Variable. And it'll say Invalid Unknown. So we'll click here and we'll look for My Dialog Quest. And you'll see My Dialog Quest with a quest variable we made before, Talking. And we're going to have this comparison to say 1. OK. And now we're going to hit on the sandbox, go to conditions, right click new. Same as before, get quest variable, my dialog quest talking, only this time we're going to set it to zero. And now all all variables are zero by default. So we, that means that he will be sandboxing by default. So now I just want to double click on him and give him a reference, in the reference ID, NPC ref. Did not mean to capitalize all that. Capitalizing isn't important, but that's just something I like to do. And so, let's say you want this dialogue to trigger as you walk up to, as you let's say you're walking down from Doc Mitchell's house because you've just begun the game. Let's say that for example. So let's put our NPC in this strategic position, and we're going to draw a trigger now. So we're going to click the trigger box and then click in the world. And I'm going to draw my trigger somewhere in front of Dot Mitchell's house. Like that. It's huge, but that's not important. You can edit the size and stuff afterwards. So I'm going to give it a unique ID, my dialogue trig, and just delete that name. OK. So now you get the chance to reposition your trigger and resize it and such, but that should be an OK size. So now I'm going to make a new script, script new, and we're going to give it a name, SCN Dialog Trig Script. So now I'm going to write, wait, yes, I'm going to do another short, and I'm going to say do once. So I'm going to basically create that variable so that this auto talk only happens once. So we're going to write begin, on trigger, enter, play at that. If brackets do once equals zero, set my dialog. I think the quest was just called my dialog, so I'm gonna have to go through and check that out. Where are quests? You'd really think I knew this by now. It's called my dialog quest. So my dialog quest, which is the idea of a quest dot talking to one. Remember don't give your quest ID, I should have said this right at the start, numbers, because that will cause an error. It, I don't know why, it just always does. And now I'm going to write set do once to one. And I'm going to write npc ref.evp. Then I'm going to say end if and end. And we're going to save that trigger as an object and close it. And I made a mistake. This is, this is great. Oh, there we go, I wrote end instead of end, so that's my mistake. It's always great when you can pinpoint these mistakes straight away. Okay. Okay. I made a mistake. I'm going to have to try and figure out what it is.